Hey guys, today we'll be checking out iOS 14.2 Beta 3 on the iPhone SE. So the first change that we get right here is we do get back the remaining time on the music progress bar. So previously on Beta 2 and Beta 1, we only get the current time displayed on the music progress bar in both control center and on the lock screen. But Apple decided to revert those changes, so we should now get both current time and remaining time on control center and on the lock screen. Also, another sneaky change that Apple did is that they decided to remove haptic feedback when tapping one of the available music controls. So you no longer get a slight vibration when tapping one of the available control options right here. Also, this update does add support for intercom. So if you have a HomePod running HomePod OS 14.2, you should be able to access that using the home app. Also, running a performance test on the iPhone SE using Geekbench, we do get a score of 1,328 for single core and 2,383 for multi-core, which previously we only got 1,320 for single core and 2,108 for multi-core. And running another performance test using Antutu Benchmark, we do get a whopping score of 372,073 for the iPhone SE. Also, this update does include some bug fixes. So if you're familiar with the Toes pop-up message, there was a bit misalignment when showing up. And here's a screen recording just in case you haven't seen that clearly. But now on Beta 3, that bug has been fixed. So right now, when you see those types of pop-ups, it should be now aligned. And here's another screen recording just in case you haven't seen it. Also, this update does include some developer changes such as these ones from Core Media and these ones in Swift UI. So those were just some of the changes in iOS 14.2 Beta 3 on the iPhone SE. So as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.